Alright, hey, Charles here for the reading section of our inheritance quiz. We have a total of three questions to work through, one, two, three. So for our first question, we had to write an interface named funface that ensures any class using it will contain a two-string method. So we have public interface funface right here. This should only be a couple lines of code, just that. And then we need a two-string method, so we write string two-string. So we do not need to write a, so normally in other classes we have a public, right? But because it's an interface, every method is automatically assumed that it is public. So writing public here is redundant. However, uh, it does build because uh, CD process completed. So even though it's redundant, that doesn't make it illegal in terms of syntax. So we can have it there. Although the textbook prefers to have it like this, so whatever. And also, because um, it's in an interface, that means it is abstract, so we can simply end it with a semicolon right here. In another class, normally you would see stuff like return Charles or something, but not here because it is abstract. We can simply end it with a semicolon and leave it at that. Uh, for number two, fun abs. Write an abstract class named fun abs containing a private integer field and the following methods. So an integer field, let's first write the class, public, uh, then we put keyword abstract, public abstract class, fun abs. And then it has a private integer field, so we write private in num. So for A, we need a constructor with a single parameter to assign the field. So a constructor, we just write public fun abs, and we need a single parameter to assign the field. So the field, because it is num, we will need an integer field here to match it. Int num, int a. And then, so we assign it, num equals a. And then for b, we have a method named void talk. This method is abstract. So public abstract void talk. And that will be it. Because it is abstract, again, it just needs a semicolon. We don't actually need any implementation. And then for c, the string to string method to return the state of the field. So the state of the field, the integer, num. So we write public string to string, and then we, re we simply return the field plus num. And so uh, notice how this is a class, class fun ads. We do need to write private and then public, 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 whatever, because it is a class. And so this is unlike the interface where everything is automatically public. Just something to keep in mind. So this will build. Process completed. And so we move on to the final question, fun child. Write a fun child class that would be the child of fun abs and use the fun face interface. The class will have a string field. So let's write it, public class. So it is not abstract, just a fun child, a fun child class. And so it'll be the child of fun abs. So this extends fun abs and uses the fun interface that is the keyword implements implements fun face and that'll be it so then we will need a string field uh, private string n that's it and then unlike number two where, where it gave you everything that you actually needed we only have a piece of sample code right over here to run off of so we see fun abs joey equals new fun child billy 12 so polymorphism right here uh, because fun abs is the parent so we see that we do need a constructor so we write public fun child uh, string name because there's billy over here and then we need a int let's say num and then so we do need uh, we do need to call the constructor of the parent fun child or I mean fun abs because this class does not have does not have an integer field so we call super num where this num goes into the constructor over here and is used as integer a and so then we assign the billy this name to the string field. So n equals name. And so we had to make sure that super.num, the constructor, super constructor, is in the first line. Because say if we leave it over here, then this will give us an error. 
where, let's see, call to super must be first statement in constructor. So we do have to make sure that is in the front. Uh, formatting. Uh, disregard these for now. Uh, these are for the other parts. And so joey.talk. So this does use the void talk method that we saw earlier. So we write public void talk. And this time we implement it. So because it is a void, um, we cannot have a say return whatever. Because like when you use this method, it gives you this. Hi, my name is Billy. But you cannot have a return, so you have to use system.out.println instead and so hi my name is Billy well that should be just uh, hi my name is and then you add the name plus n and that will be it for that oh well I mean if, okay fine I'll add a period there and then for this part system.out uh, dot print line joey dot two string so this time we will have to override the two string over here so public oops public string two string ah jeebus public string two string and then we have to return 12 uh, colon billy and so since we do not actually have the um the field the integer field 12 it is in the fun abs the parent so we had to call the super two string method because that gives us the number that we need. So we turn super dot two string and then plus plus and then since we have a colon here, just make room for that colon. And then plus n. And that should be it because that is the name. And with that we should be done. So let's build this. And process completed. There are no errors, and this is it for the inheritance quiz, the FRQ questions.